Welcome back to Learning Self Reliance. Today I'm going to be fixing this microwave. I've been having a weird issue with it where uh, it powers on and the fan goes, uh, but it doesn't put out any heat. I went through the process of troubleshooting this microwave and I've got it figured out what's going on and let me show you how I figured it out. So first thing I did is I pulled off the front and the uh, face of the microwave here. You can see that this light's on. I've got it plugged in. Obviously since I have this plugged in, the power is working and uh, it's got the light here so I know that uh, the power is getting through and then there's no f blown fuse. I pulled out a fuse that was mounted up inside of here and I tested it and it was working. Uh, that was the one across the uh, main power and that was working so I know it's not the fuse. So then I pulled the face of this off and I uh, noticed that it's got this big old relay in here and I decided to test that first so let me show you that. Right here is a pretty large relay and I believe that this is where a lot of the uh, some of the power is coming through. So I this is a uh, uh, 20 amp relay so that's pretty big and uh, I pulled this off and I turned on the microwave and I've got my multimeter here multimeter and I'm going to turn it on to just detecting if the circuit is open or closed. Alright now I wanted to test out this relay here so I'm gonna uh, hook these little clips on my multimeter through the little eyelets or whatever you call them in this relay to test it and I've got this uh, plugged into my multimeter here and it says open now I'm gonna give it some time and I'm gonna click start so if you guys can hear the fan is on the table is not turning inside and I've got a short across this which is what I want so that means that this relay sorry that cable just go off this relay is working as expected so that's not the problem so then I plug the power back into this relay here then I'm going to pull off the face of this high voltage guy here now I gotta pull the face of this off this is super dangerous and I gotta say I'm not an electrician I just teach myself pull the main screw out I'm going to pull this face off here. Okay, so I've exposed the main, uh, the heart of the microwave here. Uh, right here at the tip of my finger, this is the transformer up here. Behind here, you can't really see because it's in shadow. Let me light the uh, magnetron in the back there for you. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see. But at the tip of my finger, right here is the magnetron. It's this big guy behind here. You can't quite see it. And then this is also this huge capacitor. Okay, and there's also this huge capacitor right here. This is all super dangerous. Don't put your fingers and hands in there. Really dangerous. Now I'm going to unplug this microwave here. The microwave's unplugged. You should probably discharge this capacitor by putting a huge uh, resistor across it, like a thousand or something like that. Maybe even more than that. With a large wattage. Okay, I've got my two leads from my multimeter here across the power of this transformer here and uh, if you're not comfortable with electricity don't do this this could be really dangerous but uh, I've got this connected and then I can turn plug the microwave back in and we'll turn this on and we'll see if we get 120 volts across this all right I've got the microwave plugged back in I'm gonna give this some time hit start you can hear the fan turn on but you don't get that hum from the transformer and as you can see here I've got my multimeter and it's just searching around so I'm not getting that uh, 120 volts I should be if this transformer was getting power so the transformer isn't getting power but the relay that is turning it on is receiving power so that means there's something before the relay that isn't working okay I'm gonna pull these leads off of here and again make sure to be safe with this this is high voltage and it can kill you all right the next thing that was suspect to me is the switches for this door. Apparently that's pretty common for a microwave, these switches to go out. So when you open the door, these little hooks push in and activate switches. So this has got three switches on it. So I started with testing out the first one. Now I'm gonna switch my multimeter back over to test if this circuit is working. I'm gonna take my leads and I'm just gonna to touch both sides of this switch and I'm not getting anything. There's no beep. The multimeter says open. I'm going to open this and do it again. So that is still showing open. So that means that this switch 
isn't working as expected. Okay, so now that I've opened and closed this and tested it both times, I've established that this switch here isn't doing anything, it isn't changing. So what I've got is a jumper cable here. I'm gonna jump across the bottom of this, clip it on the bottom of the switch and the top of the switch. Now I've bypassed the switch and told the circuit that this is on and that the door is plugged in. Now here's where it gets kind of funky and I didn't expect it, but if, let me zoom out here for a sec, and when I open this door, the turntable is going to start to go. So you probably can't see it too well. Let me zoom in on this turntable. A little gear for it. So if you guys can see here that this guy is spinning, which is kind of odd. I thought maybe something had uh, shorted in the circuit board and that it, it was broken and it was turning on something unnecessarily. But if I unplug the jumper, the table stops turning. So that tells me that the, the uh, circuit relies on the switch uh, turning itself off when you open the door to know not to turn this, which is kind of weird, but that's what it's doing. So that's the process I followed. And I'm going to go ahead and jump that guy again and close this door. That's the process I followed to narrow down that this switch is bad. I ordered some on eBay, the uh, FA62 uh, relay or, or, or switches. I apologize. This, I believe this switch is what they call normally open because if I open the door, this switch should change state and um, turn off the little turntable there, but it doesn't. So that tells me that normally it's open, meaning that electricity can't flow. But when I've got this shorted across here, electricity can flow, which is changing the behavior of it. So I ordered a normally open switch and I'll be swapping that out later. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, pretty weird behavior. I decided to share that turntable spinning thing in case anybody else runs into it and gets confused. But uh, that's the process I followed. I, if I jump this and then I turn the microwave on, the, uh, the uh, transformer turns on, you can hear that hum. Let me show you that. I'm gonna put a glass of water in there just to test with it. Let's give it some time. And hit start. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but I can hear the hum of the transformer and I did test and the water got hotter. So that's the problem, that switch isn't working. Really, I mean, the manufacturer should have made it so this throws some sort of error if the switch is bad and not just turn on and make the fan go, but nothing, you know, not no heating. That's really confusing. I don't like it. If something's gonna fail, give me an error or something like that. Blink something and let me look it up in the manual. I don't know, but that's how I troubleshooted it. That's how I'm gonna fix it, just replacing that switch. Thanks for watching.